what's going on. Um, I had a pretty good day. Uh, so, I got kind of like a little story to tell. So, when I was, uh, when I was at the store the other day, I was walking around like looking at a few items and stuff, but I was just like hanging out with my dad and like, just like hanging out with him and just like, just looking at stuff, just taking my time, just being myself, which I've never been allowed to do before. And, um, after I gathered a few items, uh, I went to the register and I went to pay for it. And it was, uh, I think it was like $3.26 or something like that. And, uh, so I went to pay for it and the person behind the counter was like, um, no, your money isn't any good here today. And I was like, well, what, what do you mean? She goes, well, did you see the customer in here with the, like, the little girl? I was like, uh, was she pretty? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I saw her. You know what I mean? But I did, and I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, right? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I just didn't look at her ever again after that, right? Because I'm trying not to be like that anymore, right? She's like, yeah, uh, she said that, uh, to give you five dollars, so, if you spend up to five dollars, then give them five dollars off, so I paid for the stuff, and she gave me, like, a dollar and some, like, cents back or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, bye, I had to leave, you know, because I was, I had to run around the corner because I had to cry, right, because, uh, there's not been very many times anybody's ever done anything nice for me, right? And that right there, it was like, that was like a million dollars to anybody else. Like, I don't care about that type of reward, man. I like, just want, like, to see people happy, and I just want, um, it's nice to have somebody do something nice for you once in a while. You know what I mean? It's funny, because one of the items I bought was like a pack of these little sticky hearts, right? <laughs> Uh, she must have saw me like looking through all these little sticky hearts and she was like oh or something I don't know man <laughs> I don't have no idea all I know is that my dad was looking out for me that day man because I was having a bad day like I was like having a bad one you know and so uh yeah she ended up buying me those things right and I uh and when I left, I um, took one of the hearts off, and I walked over to the girl at the cash register, and I put one on her shoulder right here. And I was like, here, you want a sticky heart? And she was like, yeah. And she went like this. And I was like, okay, I gave her a sticky heart. And told her I loved her, and I left, you know what I mean? And uh, then I had to run off because I was about to I was about to start crying like a little, like a little kid or something. And I did. And uh, it got worse when I got back home just because... I couldn't remember one time. I couldn't. I couldn't remember one time somebody's ever done that for me, right? So that just felt really nice, and that's when I found out that, you know, my dad was telling me, you know, he was like, "You're, <laughs> you're working for the right cause," you know. I was like, "Wow, why, why is nobody calling me back at these applications? There must be twenty plus applications out right now. Nobody's not calling me, and I think it's because I don't think I'm supposed to work for a man, you know." So I just decided, like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go and I'm just going to have a go, go be myself, which is what the Bible always says. It's like, hey, be yourself. Do what you're supposed to do. And I was like, okay, well, I like doing nice things for people. I'm pretty silly. So I was just hella silly all day. <laughs> I went around just putting little sticky hearts on people and, and uh, letting them squish a squishy heart. Here, you want a sticky heart? Squish a squishy heart, <laughs> right? And they loved it. They they loved it, man. I think I might have made like a few people's days today, honestly. Um, I wrote down, right? I got five affirmatives and two possibles. And that's not including the people who see me walking down the street squishing a squishy heart and giggling like a little kid <laughs> maybe so there's maybe more okay the ones that i can prove is five today it's my first day 
Okay, I could do better than that. My first day I got five. Um, and two possibles, okay? So, uh, the first person was at 6.30 in the morning. It was a woman, um, and she was on the bus. Oh, I remember her. Okay, she was, she was dealing with, like, a lot of items, you know what I mean? Every time she'd set something down, a bunch would spill out, or she would, like, pick those things up, and boom, and, like, another pile of stuff would spill out. And she was like, Ah, like I like like uh, you know she's getting frustrated and if I had a dollar for every day I had that was like that I'd never have to work again right so I was thinking well what can I do to help this woman I was like I was like well I got a squishy heart and some sticky hearts right so I was like I just told her I said hey I said would you like a sticky heart and she was like you know what I would love a sticky heart so I said, here, put your shoulder out like this. I'll give you a sticky heart. So I gave her a little sticky heart right there. You know what I mean? And she was like, oh, thanks, man. You just made my day. And I was like, you want to squish a squishy heart? She was like, well, what, what does that mean? And I got to admit, that sounds kind of cheesy, right? So I was like, here. So out of my pocket, I was like, here. So you want to squish my squishy heart? And she was like, yeah. And she like ripped it out of my hand, you know? And she was like, oh, I got a squishy heart. She was like, thanks, man. This will get me through my day. And I was like, no, uh, no, I love you. <laughs> All right. But you can't, um, you can't keep my heart. The last time I gave a girl my heart, like this happened, right? So you can't have it, but I'll let you squish it a few times, right? It feels good to squish a squishy heart, man. I don't care. What you guys think about that? It feels good to squish a squishy heart. Anybody who says a name is a liar. Right? So she was like, oh, well, I'm sorry about that. I said, no, it's not your fault. It's fine. But this one isn't broken. Right? This one's broken. This one is in good shape. It's nice and squishy, and I like this one. And I need to maybe help a few people like you who need a squishy heart in their life. And she said, yeah, uh, yeah, I understand. She gave me the heart back or whatever. That was the first one, like, definitely, for sure, that one counted, right? And then at 10.34, uh, I got on the wrong bus, <laughs> right? And the lady on this bus, she's like, oh, it's the wrong bus. But she was like, she didn't seem like she was having a bad day like the other girl, but I don't want to leave out a person who's having a good day. Maybe she had a bad day yesterday. Maybe she could pass it on, right? So, at 10.34, I gave the bus driver of the wrong bus that I got on, who gave me the directions for the right bus, I gave her a sticky heart, right? And she was like, oh, thanks. So, for sure, I got, I got two at that point. Okay, so after I handled the things that I needed to handle, it, um, shoot, I didn't write down the times for this. Oh, it's around 11, though, around 11 o'clock in the morning, right? So, uh, I got a possible. I was walking through the mall, right? So, I was walking through the mall, and, um, I saw this cook. He was like a, he was a, he was a man. He was just, like, having a really good day, you know what I mean? He was back there flipping, he was a Chinese food store. So, he's back there flipping around a bunch of Chinese food and stuff. And, um, I was like... I was like, oh, he looks like he's having a good day. And I was about ready to take off. And I was like, no, I better give him a sticky heart. Because I want him to keep up the good work. If you're doing a good work, then you need like, you know, it made me feel, made me feel like somebody, made me feel like somebody squished my squishy heart. And I started to tickle, right? So I was like, ah, I gotta go gotta tell him I love him, right? I was like, here, man. So there was like a little, a oh, little counter right there, and his hands were full. I wouldn't hand it to him, but I was like, "Here, man, here's a little sticky heart, man. You looked happy, so I just wanted to tell you, like, it was good." And he was like, "Oh, thanks, you know." But he looked like he didn't like. I, maybe I was a crazy person or something. So I was like, "Yeah, okay, bye, <laughs> right?" And then, um, oh yeah, on the way out of the mall, I was walking through this store. Well, I wasn't going through the store. I was walking like, uh, I was on my way out, but I looked over um, to the starboard side, <laughs> right? 
and there was this woman uh, who was on the phone, and she looked really like frustrated, and I was like, shoot, well, how can I help this woman? I was like, I don't really want to go over there. She'd think I'm trying to bug her or something. So I was like, okay, so I just grabbed a sticky heart, right? And I went over there, and I put one on the counter, and I just winked at her and said, I just walked off before she could give me a reaction. So that's a possible. Kind of like the guy who was busy. Those are possibles. Maybe it worked. Eh, maybe it didn't, but it didn't hurt him, right? And then I got... Oh, yeah. So I jumped on the bus, head back to Richland. And the bus driver was like a really bubbly lady and stuff. I was like, well, she doesn't need a heart. But I was like, but she does. Because she... I want her to continue this. So I gave her, she had like a little screen right there that told her her route or whatever. I just stuck one on the side. I, you know, I was like, oh, here's the bus fare. That's for the bus. And I was like, this one's for you. Right? And I told her I loved her and I went and sat down. And on the way back, I stopped by a couple of stores. There was a lady who appreciated the sticker and a man who appreciated the sticker. So... I got five affirmatives. I got two possibles. And whoever saw me walking around, squishing this thing, giggling like a kid, those count too. But I don't know the number. My dad does. Um, so anyways, the moral of the story is I figured out why nobody called me for a job. Because <laughs> uh, this is it. <laughs> so anyways, I love you guys. And uh, as always... Have a nice day.